And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a vlog because we have come down to Mid Beach and we're going to do a beach clean as a farewell party for our friend Jeremy. And then we're going to go down to South Beach, get some yummy food, go rollerblading. So I thought I'd bring you along, show you a bit of Miami during quarantine. Well, it's kind of August now. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd bring you along in video of the day. But like you see these little small pieces, you know, I think those are more important, yeah, right? Because yeah, the, the, the microplastics and also just becoming hyper aware of these small little intricate pieces that might be hidden under something. So now when you're at the beach on your own or with your family or just going to a park, maybe we'll be a little more conscious of these little things. And then also um, lastly, you know, they're little blind spots, right? So like. If maybe you walk past something, where else is there a little blind spot in your life that you're ignoring, right? Like you're looking all over for your sunglasses and it's like, oh shit, they're on my head, right? Has that ever happened to you? It's like, where's my wallet? Oh shit, it's right here. So just being aware of these um, blind spots and I'm so grateful for the work you're doing, Ash. For you as well, thank you so much. Thank for so much. You guys, she does them in Miami weekly. Yeah. If you guys are in Miami and you guys want to get in, she does serious work. Like hundreds of pounds of trash. We have 10,000. We hit the 10,000 last week, actually. Wow. Okay. Yo, 10K, work. baby! Work. Hey! So you guys can follow on Instagram, Clean Miami Beach, and get involved. Whenever you guys want, she's doing them all the time, putting in that work. Putting wow. that work. Yes. Let's do it. Get all, get all the cleaner uppers in there. I clean my empty beach in the center. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. This poem is called, I Found My Heart in Miami. Today I woke up with two gifts, not one. My vision is clear. All the blurriness be gone. Impact is my intent. I want to make you smile. Brick by brick, the foundation takes a while. Together we can, patience is key, if we want to become the next Gary V. We must acknowledge distraction, stop comparing me to you. Self-awareness is dope. We can recognize what's true. Practice what you preach. We're all about that action. Money equals success. As a matter of fact, it's just a fraction. Mm -hmm. What will my legacy be? I'm obsessing. Jeremy, chill out. Enjoy every blessing. I came here as a kid without a plan. Some would call me a fuckboy, the furthest thing from a man. My body was strong, but my mind was weak. And then I did ayahuasca and heard my soul speak. <laughs> Am I not worthy? Am I not capable? All this negative self-talk seems unescapable. Books I read, podcasts I listen, but the real change happens when I act on my mission. Stop the dissing, stop the hissing. Instead, lead with love, hugs, and kissing. Go all in on your dreams, no time for quitting. Get off your ass and stand up to sit it. <laughs> As this epic chapter comes to a close, I feel this obligation to share with you guys the biggest truths I've learned because fuck all the lies. Fall in love with yourself 
and take off your disguise. Always lead with the heart because you can never outsmart love. And I'm not talking about the fake love, the if, when, and scarce love. I'm talking about the capital L-O-V-E love. Ooh. Can I get an aho? Aho! Can I get an aho? Aho! Always be grateful and enjoy the ride. Fail often, just make sure that you try. Multiply your vibe, don't ever divide. Always be yourself, there's no need to hide. Keep your vision narrow, distractions are far and wide. Forgive yourself if you occasionally slide. Ask for help, we all need a guide. We can't do it alone, throw your ego aside. Try to be honest, even if they lied. Good intentions come first and there is no tie. Thank you to each one of you who is by my side. I love your vibe and I'm blessed to be part of this tribe. You allow me to express myself in a way that I suppress myself before. It's time to close this door and open another. Just pinky promise me not to forget about your brother. I'm always a call or message away. You ne never need a reason to just say, hey, it's time for me to return back to the bay. Hey. Hey. So we did the beach pickup this morning. We picked up 58 pounds of trash between us, which was awesome. And we're now in a taxi to Lincoln Road because Jeremy's got a box to send off. And I think we're gonna walk down Lincoln Road and then probably skate down to Pura Vida, which is about on second or third street, I think. So but it was so nice doing the cleanup. We saw some friends as well, obviously Jeremy was there, but we also saw Carlos and a couple of other people that we know, which was nice. So Lincoln Road is usually like super hustle and bustle, usually really busy with like the shops are always busy, the street is always full of um, tables and chairs for restaurants but it's pretty empty, I mean it's a Saturday afternoon, I know it's obviously Covid but it's Saturday afternoon and it's empty so it's kind of crazy but I've never seen it like this before. So we're just walking along Lincoln Road and Jeremy was like, oh my God, that's that place we like, we come here for cider sometimes and beers. So Jeremy was like, do you want a cider? And I was like, oh my God, yes. So I've got myself a cider. I think it's a Stella Artois. Oops. I think it's a Stella Artois cider. The Sud got that one. And Jeremy's got a... Is that true? Is that So we're just sat here with our ciders and some friends just walked past with a little chat with them. But yeah, it's so nice to... So nice to drink cider, it tastes incredible it's the best tasting cider i've had because i've not had cider in ages um it's nice to be outside it's nice to be relaxing so yeah it's good <laughs> you don't expect that? That is friendly. I've got a feeling of jump probably and I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking along, and no joke, I was like, oh, "That's my sunglasses!" And Jeremy found it hilarious. So I thought I would tell you guys as well. Literally, they were on my face like this, and I freaked out and I couldn't see where my sunglasses were. So yeah, that's that happened. That's fun.
So like I said, we're on Lincoln Road and I've never seen it this quiet, ever. Like, it's a Saturday afternoon at like 2pm. It's dead and I mean like some of the shops are closed, a lot of the restaurants are closed. There's no one in the ice cream shops, there's no one in the shops, like it's just empty. It's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Don't forget that nose! <laughs> So we just stopped our pot and... Hey, I'm talking. Just in the middle of my face. <laughs> so, we Pretty just... Big. Okay. We've had a drink, so Jeremy's getting a bit leery. But... <laughs> I've just put on my roller skates. Here. And we're going to go scooting down from... We're on like 17th now on Lincoln. So we're going to go from 17th down to maybe like 10th. Jeremy wants to fly the drone for a little bit. And then we're going to go down to like third for lunch and then probably down to South Point as well and get some photos and videos down there. But I'm going to switch now over to the GoPro because it's safer than carrying this big thing around. Um, so the audio might not be as good but it'll be super wide angle and we'll show you a little bit of Miami Beach. So yeah, let's go on the GoPro! so busy with people partying, people cycling, people walking. It's empty. So we've come down to 15th and we've stopped under the palm tree so Jeremy can fly the drone a little bit. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> so we're going to fly the drone a little bit and I will insert the footage now. Ocean Drive is literally always full of cars, people partying, bachelorette parties, just crazy drunk people all the time and it's so empty, it's bizarre. I think they might have closed this road off for traffic, but still, I mean, there's just no one here. It's crazy. We out here skating. <laughs>
to Pura Vida, which is on second or third, you said? First Street, so it's right down at the bottom of South Beach. Um, but it's a place that does like um, acai bowls, salad bowls, um, wraps, smoothies, ginger shots. Like it's a nice, like health food place. We've come here for lunch, and two of our friends are going to come and join us soon. I think they're here in about 10 minutes, hopefully. So we're just about to order. So we're ordering a salmon um, bowl and a tuna wrap and we're going to share with a lemonade and a fruit smoothie so it should be yummy. Oh, 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 oh,